In this presentation, we can going to look at DD command of Windybug. DD is a dump type, mainly used for displaying the contents of a type like class, structure or a primitive data type. DD has a lot of options and it's a complicated command. What we're going to do is we're going to focus on a couple of special cases which are most commonly used. In the demo, we're going to explore a couple of forms of DT. The first one is DT then type, DT then a local variable, DT type then the pointer, then giving a specific depth using hyphen R, then displaying a specific field of a particular type and finally we have the list which is a little complicated we have a small C program here and we have a structure here and I am initializing the structure so the program is broken into one breakpoint right here So the first form of DT is DT myStruct. This information is coming from the symbols, not from the source code. I have the same result if I have the symbols without the source code. So it's always a good practice to use this syntax, binary bang type name, DT binary bang type name so you will get the same result because debugger was able to find my struct is inside KCMD. Now we are going to dump out this particular local variable dt that variable so as you can see it has given you the correct value so here it was showing the type because this is a variable we are dumping we are getting the values not the type information so DD does an automatic dereference at times which you can see here so this is a pointer to my struct it's not a variable itself so DD does a dereference if the correct data type is available from the symbols so now let me try to use DT for a general case. There is an operating system data structure called PEP for each process. As an example, I am going to use PEP here. To get the address of the PEP, I would like to go to bang PEP command. So don't worry about this command. I just want the address of a structure. Now if I do dt nt bang underscore peb then the address of the variable I can dump out that particular variable so this is a very common way dt is being used dt type name then the address to that type now if I want a specific field what I can do is I can just keep that field name just after the type name. For example, I am interested in NT global flag. So I got just NT global flag. I don't want to see the other fields because it's a very big structure. Also, PEP is another good example for structure inside structure. So in here, we have all primitive data types inside a structure but you can have a structure here as well in that case we have to use the R switch for DD to completely dump out all the depths R then the depth so same structure it is going five level deep maximum if possible so certain cases it's going up to file level as you can see 
so this is how you uh, recursively dump out a data structure using DT if it has nested types next we're gonna see dumping a list using DT before that let's go back to the slide and let's try to understand some fundamentals so back to the slides so we have seen up to here so what is left is this particular format so in this particular format if you carefully look first one is a type simple and straightforward then hyphen L that is for list it's a switch then the field dot f link so whatever is the field inside the type which is of type list entry and then the pointer so this pointer needs a little bit of explanation so let me explain that with the help of a slide so I recommend while going through this presentation you have to have a review of the previous presentation on list entry delist in that presentation I am explaining how a list entry works list entry containing record and all the related entities I am explaining in that particular presentation so please feel free to review that presentation if you are confused with this before looking into this particular diagram let me quickly review the list entry delist sample which we have seen already in a previous presentation so this is the list entry delist example we have seen in this we have a structure in which we have a list entry inside that inside the list entry we have f link and b link then we have a pointer to a head node of type p list entry so empty list head it is pointing to the head node which we are allocating right here head node is of type list entry in this particular sample the subsequent nodes are of type my test list now if we go to the slide so this is how it looks so this is the head node where my list head is pointing to F link of that is pointing to second node which is of type my test list now this pointer of DT which we are passing input to the DT is expected to be a pointer right here not here or here it is to be here so to reach here this is how you do it do a DC on this address so that we will reach here so we got the F link once again if you do a DC on that F link you will reach here and if you subtract this particular length from this address you will get here so that's what we're gonna do from here DC and reach here then reach here using another DC on this F link and subtract the offset this offset and get the start address so in most of the Microsoft implementation this head node is not just a list entry it is also a type of this the list entry lists are so flexible such that I have seen implementation very sophisticated implementation in which this nodes are of different types so it is not a requirement that nodes are of same type 
so we can't even call it a list anymore from a computer science standpoint but it works as long as the structures or the types has this particular member in it you can link them together it works like a container for different data types so coming back to our original discussion so we are going back to the windy book so this is our list entry dealer sample so first I'm going to get the address of this I'm going to use the X command for that so this is the address of empty list head I'm going to do a DC on that so this is the address of the head node again I'm going to do a DC this is the address to the list entry in the second node so now I have to subtract the offset like I mentioned before how much should I subtract so for that I have to dump this type out DT this type so this is the offset which I should subtract now the offset I got this address that address is pointing right here now we can use this particular format because we have this point already so what is the type here type is this what is the name of the list entry field list entry itself so copying that now the pointer is this and we are all set so we're getting the exact same three nodes printed out now let's see a more production example of dt hyphen l what we're going to do is we're going to dump out a list of processes in an operating system using the dt command so same principle we're going to apply to a live kernel so before that let me go into the names first so this is the name of the list head this is pointing right here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get and get the address of this and follow the same pattern the name of the list entry is this active process links and this structure is of type indibang underscore e process so this debugger is currently attached to a live kernel and already broken into it so this is under kernel debugging via network cable but we are going to do the same thing so I have done an X NT PS active process head to get the address of that so now I am going to get the value inside that doing a DC on that so this is the value inside that now I know that this is pointing inside a structure which is of type nt underscore e process so I'm doing a dt on that dt nt bang underscore e process also as I mentioned it is pointing to the active process links right here so the offset I have to subtract is 0x b8 exact same thing we have done previously so taking this and subtracting the offset Now we got the pointer. 
once we got the pointer we can use this particular syntax which we have seen in the slides type is nt bang underscore e process hyphen l so this field is the one we have seen here active process links that's a field and pointer is the one we have obtained here so it has dumped out all the process in that particular system it's a very big structure a lot of elements so if I want to filter out the output a little bit I can use y hyphen y then the starting of the field I want now we can see it has dumped out only fields which are starting with IMA so this example we have just done has given in the debugger documentation of DT so feel free to have a look at that as well so we have seen all these forms of DT so we have found the difference between list entry D list and a typical Microsoft implementation so coming to summary what DT command is normally used for dumping out a particular memory region interpreted as a type also we have seen how to dump out a list list entry list using DT command that's it. Thank you very much.